Then he says, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَ And what will give you a clue as to what it is? مَا هِيَ He doesn't say, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْهَاوِيَ In the beginning he said, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْقَارِعَ He didn't repeat هَاوِيَ He said, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَ And the difference, this is again rhetoric in the Qur'an. The first word qari'a was familiar to the Arabs. It was familiar. And they can compare a qari'a they've seen, and then make qiyas about the qari'a that's going to happen. Even though Allah teaches them, you really can't. But at least in their mind, yes, qari'a is a familiar term. The word hawiyah, the way it's being used here, completely unfamiliar to the Arabs. Plus it's not even describing something that will happen on the earth, it's describing hellfire. Completely in the ghayb. It's distant from them. And to allude to something distant, the pronoun is used here. That's how it's used in the Qur'an. Then we find that the word at the end of this is mahiyah. There's a ha at the end. The word hiya in Arabic means she. The word hiya means she. There's no ha at the end of it. But Allah Azza wa Jal adds a ha. This is ha tahwil to terrify. This ha at the end of a word in Arabic is to magnify and to give weight to a word. When you pronounce the ha, you pronounce it from your diaphragm. And this is a means by which you are to scare your audience when you speak. This is, this is a magnification and an, and an expression of power. So Allah says, ma hiya? You have any idea what that is? And there's, a, there's an anger in the ayah and we can capture the anger in the ha that's captured at the end. Wal ha fi hiya lil والجملة تفسير تفيد التعظيم أمر أمر النار وتفخيمه. This ha at the end is the it benefits magnifying the matter of fire and to give it its its heavy weight. Last ayah inshaAllah taala na runhamia. He asks the question, he answers it. Why does he answer it? Because he said ma adraka. If he says ma yudrika, you don't find answer. When he says ma adraka, you find answer. The first question was ma ma adraka ma alqari'a. We found an answer. Now another question ma adraka ma hiya. And now we're going to find the answer again. By the way, this is a surah about hellfire. In the end, it's about more detail about hellfire. The surah before and the surah after talks about the kind of people that deserve hellfire. It's sandwiched in between them. The surah before, in the insana li rabbihi lakanud. The surah after, al hakum takathur hatta zurtum al maqabir. Both of the groups that need to be warned. And in between the two groups, you have a surah that deals with their fate, the hellfire. أي حارة شديدة الحرار الحرارة. The word نار of course we know is fire. The word حامية means intense fire, something that's very very hot and 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 flamed. وهو جواب الاستفهام. It's of course the answer to the question ما هي تفسير لهاوية. This is a تفسير of the word حامية itself. نعت له له نعت له لها وهو من الحما. This is an adjective of fire and it comes from the word حما which means Ishtidad, ishtidad al har. It means the intensity of flame and fire. Of course, we learn from prophetic narrations of the uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the fire of hell is at least 70 times, meaning the fire we have here in the world is one of 70 parts of the fire in hell and its intensity. May Allah Azza wa Jal protect us from it. And Al Qamus, it even says, you know, Humiya Shams, meaning the sun's flame is called Hima also. Its, its intensity is called Hima also at that place. Not the one that reaches us, but the one that's over there is called Hima also. So with that inshallah ta'ala we conclude. I want to just mention one or two things about the coherence of the surah and how it's tied, the beginning of it is tied to the end of it. Allah Azza wa Jal scared us in the beginning with the word Al-Qari'ah. He scares us more at the end with the words Narun Hamiya. He opened the surah with a question and an answer. وَمَا أَضْرَكَ مَا الْقَارِعَةِ He closes the surah with a question and answer. وَمَا أَضْرَكَ مَا هِيَ Narun Hamiya. So the beginning is rhetorically tied to its own conclusion. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن الحكيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآية والذكر الحكيم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. القارعة ما القارعة وما أدراك ما القارعة. يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهن المنفوش فأما من ثقلت موازينه فهو في عيشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية